Alexa, can you please tell me about the Restrict Bill 686, cleverly disguised as the TikTok Bill? The Restrict Act, S. 686, would allow the government to access all of the data on your video devices if it is a service that uses over 1 million people. This includes services like Ring Doorbell slash in-home security cameras and so much more. Why would the government need to see what's going on in our homes? It's a serious thing, you guys. This bill that is being passed is not about TikTok. It's not even about taking away our freedom of speech or, oh, now I'm not going to make money on a platform anymore. No, it's so much more than that. It's like the Patriot Act. They used 9-11 to make us fearful, and then they passed something under the guise of for our health and safety, as they always do. And this is the most dangerous bill yet. And you're going to need to share this because this is huge. And if we don't stand up, this is not about freedom of speech anymore. This is about losing our sense of privacy, which none of us really have anymore anyway. It goes beyond that because it's giving them the potential without due cost they can make up a reason why they think you might be a threat and boom you go to jail based off of your doorbell ringer you got a smart home you better get rid of that because you know what smart means and it doesn't mean intelligent restrict act senate bill 686 proposes jail time for using a vpn to access certain websites or apps operated by foreign adversaries is there anything else i can assist you with you use your own vpn number and then you're really going to jail because you would be considered a terrorist using your own VPN number. So they're not even going to let you be secure in that way. What else is in the Bill 686? Senate Bill 686, also known as the Freedom and Openness in the United States Act, has been met with controversy due to its potential impact on free speech and online censorship. The bill grants significant power to the federal government to control information and communications, making it similar in scope to the Patriot Act. By granting immunity from public oversight, the bill raises concerns about the potential for abuse and lack of accountability. Opponents of the bill have expressed worries about its effects on digital freedom and the ability of citizens to access accurate and unbiased information. Would Bill 686 take away our freedom to speak? No, Bill S. 686, a proposed legislation, does not take away people's freedom to speak. The bill aims to combat terrorism by creating a national strategy for preventing terrorist radicalization and recruitment within the United States. It does not limit citizens' rights or infringe on their freedom of speech. Terrorism. You don't mean foreign terrorists, you mean terrorists in your own country who go against what the government say and come together on platforms like this and then you can label it as terrorism so you can send us to jail, that kind of terrorism? Hmm. The Restrict Act would allow the government to access all of the data on your video devices if it is a service that uses over 1 million people. This includes services like ring doorbell slash in-home security cameras and so much more. Hashtag kill bill 686. We're not doing this again, you guys. We're not doing the Patriot Act 2.0. Didn't we learn anything from 9-11 and them using our fear to pass through bill without our informed consent? Don't even get me started on that one. They're trying to use China, the Communist Party. Oh, we're going to protect them from their safety and their security by implementing the same thing the Communist Party does, which is take away the freedom of speech and monitor your shit and then invade your privacy through your doorbells and all that shit has to do with TikTok. we got to stop this. Kill Bill 686.